Hi, my name is Andrew Salamoni, and I'm Senior Exhibitions and Programs Preparator at the George Eastman Museum. Part of my job at the museum is to look after our exhibits, which sometimes includes playing with Victorian-era animation toys, like the Zotrope in the Discovery Room. But since I can't play with the Zotrope at the museum right now, I've made a little video to show you how we can still play with Zotrope animations at home. All you really need is a turntable of some kind, a circular base for your animation, I use this pizza pan but even a piece of cardboard will work, a smartphone with a strobe light app, there are plenty of those for free out there, and some homemade play-doh. Homemade play-doh only needs a few ingredients. The recipe I used called for two cups of all-purpose flour, three quarters a cup of salt, four teaspoons cream of tartar, two cups of warm water, two tablespoons of vegetable oil, and food coloring. Once you have all the ingredients thoroughly mixed together, cook it on the stove over medium heat until it starts to firm up to the desired consistency. Once it cools, you can add food coloring to the dough. I decided to make my animation look like a pizza because it makes it easy to divide the animation into eight equal parts, like the frames of a flipbook. Then I rolled out some more dough and used a cookie cutter to make eight shapes. I placed each shape at a slightly different angle to the last one to create the illusion of movement when the turntable spins. Once you've got all the shapes placed, put the Play-Doh Zotrope on the turntable, spin it, turn the lights out, and turn the strobe light on. To make the animation appear, play with the timing of the strobe light and the speed of the Zotrope spinning. Which might sound confusing, but it just takes a little trial and error when you actually do it. Once you've made an animation that works, you can try manipulating your shapes in different ways, or make them into completely new shapes, like these little mushroom sculptures, and I just added a little green food coloring to the red hearts to make them look brown. The shapes you make don't have to be perfect. You can mash things up, try whatever you like, and just have fun.